Hey, what's up? Brent here. I'm the jazz musician behind LearnJazzStandards.com, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really super hip Sonny Rollins lick for you. Now, learning licks from jazz greats, jazz masters, or just jazz musicians that you really respect and admire is a really awesome thing that you can do to learn jazz language. And in order to play jazz, obviously, we need to learn jazz language. Jazz is a language, music is a language, so we have to treat it the same way. So check out this Sonny Rollins lick. So hip. All right, so I'm going to go behind my guitar. I'm going to dig a little deeper into this lick. Let's check it out together. All right, so here I'm at my guitar here. So now if you want to check out this in context, this lick in context, go to YouTube or anywhere you want and look up on YouTube Sonny Rollins' Tenor Madness, and it's off of the album Tenor Madness. It has John Coltrane on the, the tune, actually. Anyways, you can go to it, and it's at the 3 minute and 32 mark is where this lick starts. So if you want to check that out there in context, that's where you can do it. But I'm going to play it on my guitar now, and I'm going to throw the music up on the screen. Now, make note that this is in concert C. So if you're a saxophone player or a trumpet player or even an alto player, an E-flat player, it's going to sound a little bit different. It's going to sound like it's in a different key. If you want, you can transpose it, whole step up if you're a B flat player, or a, a minor third down if you're an E flat player. Um, or you can just play it the way it is, it's fine, it just won't be in the exact same key as what I'm playing. So just be aware of that. All right, so here's the lick. <laughs> Cool lick, right? So there's some things happening here. First of all, just look at that pickup measure right there. Uh, if you look at the pickup measure, it's really cool. So this is a technique called enclosure. It uses this a few times. So it's that E natural and G to the F. That's called enclosure, those first three notes there. So essentially you're approaching, our target note is that F natural. You're approaching it from below, so that would be the E natural, and then above the D into the F. So Okay, and then it happens again right here. So the E flat to the D flat and the D. So now our target note is the D natural there and the notes uh, approaching it from above E flat, from below D flat to the D. So cool, right? That's called enclosure. Okay, very cool. Uh, yeah, moving on, we have some chromaticism in there. Goes down to that A flat there. Now what's the A flat and B flat seven? That's the seventh, right? So, oh, and just in context too, like what chord progression is over? This is the first three or four bars of the blues, so. Right, that's the blues. So that's what this lick is over top of right here. So here it is again. I love how he does that little pattern there. And then he lands on the fifth of the B flat seven. That's the F. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so it's just a really hip lick. So take a look at this. Practice this a few times. Try to get it under your fingers. Doesn't matter what instrument you play. It's a great lick to play over the first four bars of Tenor Madness or really any blues. All right, so the next thing you could do with this lick, if you wanna take things to the next level, is you could take this into all 12 keys. Taking things to all 12 keys is a great practice to do. Helps you internalize the language that you learned a little bit better. Also gives you more technical flexibility on your instruments to play in keys that maybe are a little weaker for you than others. All right, so here is the question that I want you to answer. What is your favorite Sonny Rollins lick or Sonny Rollins solo? Whatever it may be, let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you. Now, make sure if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like our page on Facebook. Be sure to join our newsletter at learnjazzstandards.com forward slash join. I'm going to send you a free jazz practicing guide ebook if you do that. And if you want to get into the depths of jazz theory and learning jazz improvisation, be sure to check out our ebook, Zero to Improv. You can find that at zero to improv. Dot com. It walks you through how to become a great jazz improviser from the ground up. All right, I'm Brent. I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next video. 
Hey, what's up? Brent here. I'm the jazz musician behind LearnJazzStandards.com, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a super hick, hick. <laughs> oh my god.